40% of the benefit of the multinationals are stuck in tax havens. It's clear that tax avoidance was a strong motivation behind those driving the Brexit campaign. For other group, the Greens EFA, tax justice is one of the priorities. One of these recommendations was to set up a unitary taxation of multinationals in order to get rid of the transfer pricing issue and the use the multinationals are taking of the tax haven in order to optimize their uh, taxes. So we know that tax havens are aggravating the inequalities. 40% of the benefit of the multinationals are stuck in tax havens. And that means some 350 billion euros worldwide, 120 billion for the EU and 20 billion for France. <laughs> It's clear that tax avoidance was a strong motivation behind those driving the Brexit campaign. The complex web of finance stretching between the City of London and the British Overseas Territories gives them easy access to some of the world's most secretive tax havens. I want to talk about equivalence and I want to talk about what kind of conditions Europe should be imposing upon a post-Brexit London or, or Britain before they even begin to consider giving British banks or banks trading out of London and other financial services organisations trading out of London equivalents access to the European market. Of course, none of this is new. Since the 1950s, Britain has been deeply committed to a tax haven development strategy. I think that the European Union needs to take very strong measures to protect itself from tax haven Britain. The blacklist itself could be a tool that the EU looks to use perhaps uh, more directly with overseas territories and crown dependencies. Apple is, is the most profitable company in the world and it's saying it's going to pay about 15%. It's telling investors it's going to pay about 15% in tax this year. The commissioner, uh, um, Jean-Claude Juncker, is a... Um, has, has been a sterling adver, advocate of um, CCCTB as, as, as a solution, and he has bristled in press conferences about some member states um, holding out against, um, against uh, um, uh, the, these kinds of reforms that would, would uh, take a lot of abuse out of the system. But he has a credibility problem, and uh, he is the man who... Uh, who built the the built the the abusive regime? I mean, he transformed Luxembourg from a fading steel economy into this one one of the wealthiest per capita nations in the world that it has these extraordinary office blocks full of um, letterbox companies. And uh, and so open data is the, is is the, is the solution. Just to mention something, when we talk about tax haven, so we just tend to think about exotic Caribbean uh, islands, but uh, it's also, as I said, inside the EU, it's also uh, still in uh, still connected to the EU uh, through through the UK, the, the overseas territory. The real issue is why is it that member states who are net losers of aggressive tax avoidance and evasion accepted. Um, I'm a, a National Geographic photographer, and what I've tried to do is to make everything you've been speaking about here today visible. You see, what you've been talking about till now is terribly important, but it's not really sexy. BAPs, OCD, CCTB, BOT, even people that are socially conscious have a hard time understanding what tax havens are.